In this video, I'd like to use GeoGebra to show you guys how to construct a triangle with these given properties. So this right here represents the length of side B, that's opposite angle B, or vertex B. This is the altitude, the length of the altitude that connects the vertex B to side B. So remember, an altitude is perpendicular always. And this is the angle A. So in our triangle, if we have side say A, B, C, for example, in the orientation that I'm tracing out with this hand here, then this would make, if, if angle A is in the exact same place that it is in our picture here, then it would make the base of the triangle be side B, and that would make vertex B be upstairs, right? And so what we need to do is a couple of things. We need to measure out this length, we need to copy this angle, and then we need to figure out um, the proper height, okay, the proper height of the altitude. So let's do this. I am going to try, I believe over here you can make a ray. So I'm gonna make a ray. And this is gonna be my base of, of the triangle. So the ray is gonna go this way. Now with GeoGebra, you can go through and if you choose this show hide label, you can hide these things. And in fact, I want to hide this point as well. So hide the object, should be able to just hide this point. And I... Well, it makes it lighter at least. So we know that that's not a vertex of our triangle necessarily. If it is, it's gonna be just a coincidence, right? So at this point, what I need to do is go to my compass and I'm gonna copy this angle. So I'm gonna do this in a couple steps here. So there is the this, that opening right there, right? I'm gonna place it there because I'm gonna we're gonna need this, right? And then I'm gonna do it again. So same opening now goes here, okay? Now to copy this angle, by the way, the other thing that you can do in GeoGebra is you can change the thickness of these. Well, you have to go, I think you have to go up here to move. If you click on this, then you can change the thickness of the line. We can make this like say one for constructions. Okay, that's gonna be, now look at that. That's just a construction line, okay? And construction lines are not gonna be part of our final answer. So it's good to see just, uh, just very skinny lines there. Notice our point disappeared eventually too. So the next thing that we want to do is go back to our compass. Notice I'm just using the compass. I'm not using generic circle, you know, all these other properties because I want to construct this as though I was uh, doing it with an actual compass. So before I get to the compass, I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to hide that point so that it's not in the way, okay? Because the next thing we need to do is open from here Oh, sorry, I need, did I just select the compass? Yeah. So from here to this intersection point, okay? That's the intersection, they both lit up. And since this is the proper opening, this doesn't seem right at all though. Uh, it chose, uh, we need to put a point there. Okay, so now as you go through this with GeoGebra, you have to do things that you wouldn't do as I'm realizing now, right, that you wouldn't do with just a regular uh, compass. And so at this point, I've already got that. So now I need to create this segment, all right? And the reason for that is because that's gonna be the radius of my new opening of my compass, right? So I select this segment and there we go. That's the proper length. And I place the center right at this intersection point right here, right? There we go. And so now this new point, I'm gonna make another ray, okay? I'm gonna go from the center of the circle through that point that we just made. And so that right there is a copy, that's we have copied the angle A, all right? Now I'm gonna go back through, and I know this isn't fun to watch, but this is what you guys are probably gonna to wanna to do when you create these to turn in. I'm gonna go back through and I'm gonna make all these construction lines uh, much lighter. Okay, because we're still not at a point where these are going to be part of our answer. So especially this one was not even supposed to be there, right? So that's definitely a construction line. That point J, we don't really need it, but um, it showed up. So um, I'm going to leave those points there for now as we go through this construction. So the next thing that we need to do is we now need to mark off the length of B. We need to find this point B. So we need our compass again. We go back to our compass here, 
and um, we select these two points. That's the proper opening, okay? And we place this right at the center. And there we go. And what we want from here is, whoops, a daisy, point. We want to put the point, place the point right here. That right there is part of our triangle, okay? So that one is not gonna get hidden. It's not gonna get made lighter. It is part of our triangle. So actually for our triangle, let's um, make these, let's make our new triangle be red. So we are, we are part way there. So we've got two vertices. Okay, the next thing that we need to do is find the vertex B. This is actually the vertex C as, as I've named it up here. It's, it's the other vertex, right? So uh, we'll get rid of the labels of these points again. It's a, it's a process to go through here and you know make this look exactly as you want it, um, but it's gonna be worth it because the next thing that we wanna do, let's choose a point. I'm gonna put this point way out here on our line segment. All right, so again, take off the label. But at this point, I'm gonna create a segment that is perpendicular, okay? Perpendicular to the base segment here. And then we're gonna to have to mark off the proper height. But remember the altitude or the height is always perpendicular to the base which it connects to, right? And so in this case, that base is B. It's, it's the one that we have down here. So and this stuff is not labeled too well yet. Let's, let's label it, okay? I'm, going, I'm getting a little willy-nilly here, but I need to see what we have. So. This point right here is gonna be our point. I'm gonna name these prime because they've been constructed. If you click this little thing that says LaTeX formula, this is red as LaTeX, then it just makes the font pretty. Okay, so it makes a nice pretty font there. Um, now I typed this in the wrong spot, but this is gonna be, this is side B. So this will be our C prime. Again, LaTeX makes it pretty. And that point is this one. All right, now I know exactly what we're working on. We need to find our point B prime, right? And so to do that, I need to go back to the compass. Now this compass, it doesn't matter now um, how wide I make this. So, but I think I need another point. So I need to have another point just to use the compass. This is just the way GeoGebra makes you operate, okay? So there, there's our other point. And now I'm gonna go back to the compass. I'm gonna create this circle with this radius and I'm gonna place it here. It doesn't matter where I put it, okay? I'm gonna put it there. And at this point, I am going to increase the radius a little bit. So now here's here's what I'll do. With the compass, I need another point. Uh, maybe it'll work. So I wanna use this point. No, it's the, it, that's not what I want. Okay, so what I wanna do is put another point out here this intersection and then I want to create the or construct the perpendicular bisector uh, of these two P and O which is going to go right through the point that I made to begin with right that's the whole idea um, and to do that with just the compass tool I need to create the circle with this radius put it leave it there and then do the same thing with this radius leave it there okay so I just copied that twice and I am now going to go back through and kind of lighten these things up again. Make sure if you do this as you go, then you'll be sure that to make sure that they're just construction lines that you don't get confused. Okay. So there's construction line. I'm going to hide the labels on P and O because they're not important points, right? And at this point, let's move everything. I thought I had this on move. Let's move it just up here. <clears throat> okay, so what are we gonna do now? Well, we're gonna place this point at the intersection, right? Again, we don't care what this point is called. And now we're gonna create the ray that goes from this midpoint through that point. So this is a ray. This is just done with a straight edge, so you don't, it doesn't matter what tool you use, but the ray is the proper one because it'll just keep on going, okay? and. We are almost done. At this point, what we need to do is we need to measure the proper height that we want, right? We need the proper height. Um, so I'm gonna go back through and make this a construction line. I know this is not the most riveting thing to watch, but there's our construction line. Now we have to go back to the compass, okay? Back to the old compass. 
we need to set the compass to be exactly the opening of this altitude. And then we place this down here, okay? And that intersection point right there, I'm gonna mark it before I forget. This point right here marks the proper height, okay? That marks the proper height for us. So that point's very important. Now from here, we need to construct, we need to find out where that height intersects this ray that made our angle, right? And then we'll be able to place our point B. And to do that, we need to construct a perpendicular line through this, right? Through this point R. I'm gonna leave this one labeled for now because we're using it. So through R, it's gotta be perpendicular and shoot over here. It's gonna meet our ray that made our angle here. And that's where uh, the vertex B will go. And then we'll make sure that everything worked out exactly as we hoped. So again, one more time, I'm gonna just, there's probably a way to set that. You're probably screaming at the video right now to set this so that the construction lines are all uh, weaker, right? Um, now I need my compass again. So the compass, we're going to put this here to get our midpoint, right? And then, yeah, and once again, I forgot, you need to put a point here for GeoGebra to remain happy. And might as well at least get rid of that. All right, and then from here, we mark that, cancel. And then we uh, somehow I changed my tool there. Must be a keyboard thing. And then this goes here. Okay, so at this point, we are almost there. We need a ray. The ray now shoots from the point R. Oh, I messed up. Okay. Uh, no, I didn't. So the R, this label is confusing. So I, for a minute, I thought I had messed up. This R is labeling that point right there. That's the one we want because that's the circle. So this is where, man, construction lines can get very, very confusing, okay? Um, yeah, it gets confusing. So before I lose everything here, that's the point I want right there. This one, we don't need... Doesn't even, wouldn't even really be there um, if we were working with an actual compass. So this point here, we're almost done. We are gonna now create the ray through R and this new point, all right? And we can see exactly the point we want. Now this point of intersection, that point is the point B prime of our triangle. Okay, so now I'm just gonna clean things up and be done. But there's that one's red, that one we want. This line is gonna be very thin, all right? This point R, we no longer need to leave. I mean, so if you're doing this to turn this in, then um, you might want to leave R, right? Whoops, there's a J there for some reason. Oh, I have the wrong tool. Sorry, I wanted to get rid of that. Okay, um, then I'm going to, we're almost done. You just wanna make this look pretty, okay? Give it some text. So this is our point up here that we've called B prime. And make sure it's, once again, I didn't change my tool. You can see how this can get uh, a little bit annoying, but it's okay. We're working with what we got. So is there a triangle tool? Here we go, polygon. This is gonna be exactly what we want now. We're gonna connect these three and there we go. Shaded in beautifully. This is a triangle which has angle A, that's A prime. So at this point, maybe we can zoom in a little bit. It has angle A. It has side length B, that's this side. We, we did that with the compass, right? And then a lot of the work here was to make sure that we had the proper altitude. And so the height from B, if you drop a perpendicular straight down to the side AC, so that's the side lowercase b, the height of that will be exactly this. And the reason we know that is because we created a line parallel to the base that was exactly that far away, right? We measured that out using this segment right here and using our compass, H, HB. 
Okay, and so this is a triangle that has the given information, the angle, the adjacent side, and then the, and the altitude of one of the other sides, uh, the side that one of the adjacent sides. Okay, and it's a little bit messy as you look at this. Um, you can zoom in to see more details, but notice the way that we've done it here. We all the construction lines are there. They are faint in the background, and the triangle pops out. So the answer is looking very beautiful.